Welcome to another week. This week we start something quite different, mathematically speaking, that you might not even recognize as mathematics, and yet it very, very much is. We're going to shift gears from finances to a whole new conversation. Yeah, we're going to talk about logic, and we're going to introduce it with a kid's book, Alice in Wonderland, uh, written by Lewis Carroll, a mathematician. And I think a lot of these kids' stories have a lot to say about life, but it actually transcends kids' abilities to comprehend. They just like it when flowers are talking. You know, That's right. they, Because they talk to flowers, they talk to their stuffed animals. Yeah, and, and so, it just makes sense. Yeah, and I just want to read a little excerpt from uh, a conversation that Alice has with a flower, and she kind of doesn't really know what's going on because people don't talk to flowers except she is. And the flower's like, this is actually normal. You should, you should be okay with this. And he gives her an argument. So here it is. You're taking me back to my childhood. I, <laughs> I, I, I actually remember reading that, and I didn't question at all, why is this flower talking? Yeah, so, it's kind of surreal. Yeah. So, so Alice says to this flower, why is it that you're all talking so nicely? Hoping to get the flower into a better temper by a compliment. <laughs> I've been in many gardens before, but none of the flowers could talk. Put your hand down and feel the ground said the tiger lily, then you'll know why. Alice did so. It's very hard, she said, but I don't see what that has to do with it. In most gardens, the tiger lily said, they make the beds too soft so that the flowers are always asleep. This sounded a very good reason and Alice was quite pleased to know it. <laughs> now, <laughs> Neil, does, does this make any sense at all? Well, I, I think I follow the, the flower's logic, but I'm, I'm not sure, to be honest. Do you think that it's good logic, or do you think that it's bad logic? My guess is it's bad logic because you asked that question, <laughs> but I don't know if I know why, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, how do you decide if something truly makes sense or not? I mean, what's the determining factor? You have to, you have to understand logic. Well, Walk us through this. It, well, okay, so I would go back and I would say the flower is simply saying that um, if the beds are soft, the flowers will be asleep. And then the flower says, why don't you feel the ground? And, and Alice says, well, it's not soft, it's hard. And the flower's like, exactly. Because if the ground is hard, the flowers are awake. And if the flowers are awake, of course they're talking because that's what flowers do, right? I think most people would have no problem with that logical argument yeah. as you just unpacked it. Yeah, and actually it is a fallacy of logic called the inverse error. And you wouldn't know it if you didn't know what the inverse error was. And you, you probably just wouldn't even notice at all. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking words and phrases and, and verbal arguments and we're going to turn them into symbols so that the flaw can be exposed or that the validity can be elevated. So it's really, really hard work, but I don't know, do you think hard things are bad? I think I, think I feel like some wax on, wax off <laughs> coming, but I wonder, mm -hmm. Pete, why, how is this gonna help me? So I, I've been living a lot of my life and maybe not understanding logic at the level I should, I'm a student. How is understanding logic gonna make a difference in my life? I think it'll make you a better communicator. I think it will help you make decisions in life. I think it will actually maybe transform your beliefs now I'm seriously excited for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to learning this stuff. Yeah, and this is just going to give you the tools to be able to evaluate if something is actually sensible or if it's nonsense. Because the reality is all day long we're being hit by arguments like the flowers. Not from flowers, but from, from other flowers. sources. <laughs> and maybe we don't have the tools to assess, was this actually good logic yeah, or poor logic? Yeah, because logic is a system that governs all other systems. Yeah. Uh, it's not my idea, it's not your idea. It's been with every culture, in every time, in every place. And that's what we're gonna look at, is the rules of sense making. Again, math that matters math that you use in your everyday life or you wish you were using in your everyday life. That's what this is about. It's gonna be good. See you soon.